idea is that we bring really established artists together with really young artists that get a chance because young artists need a chance they need to put the foot in the door and there is no gallery who will just take you unless you sold a lot of pieces or are already famous and everybody wants you but who wants you when you're just starting to grow when you have talent but you just need a place and this is what we do to the black to the white the red and the brown the purple and yellow but first I got the gallery in London and the gallery in New York, both of them are constantly moving. We have shows in different places just because we want to have the shows where things are happening, where this is a good spot now, stuff happens there, so let's go there. London is um, always for the experimental, for the crazy thing, for the what's, what's next, what's next. Berlin is more for like, let me take a look, what could this be? And New York is uh, always very colorful, very crazy, just in your face kind of thing. And I guess to a D. You see, I got more clothes than Muhammad Ali, and I dress so viciously. I got so this uh, this piece, uh, it's actually two graffiti pieces. It was a, it was a small wall, so we actually um, connected our pieces. So you have the A, the R. The idea from uh, painting the pieces and putting the canvases on the wall came from being out and painting on the street, and then people coming up to us and saying, "Oh, I wish I could just take a piece off the wall." This. Um, you know, we just have the blank wall and then just kind of sketch out, you know, what the letters will look like and kind of see still where it kind of connects, even the, can you know, the canvas isn't here. If we're doing a huge wall, you know, it would take a few days, stuff like that, so. I love to paint graffiti. Um, it's a release, like, just from my, you know, day-to-day, nine-to-five job that I have, just stressful type of thing. Um, Going out and doing a piece and painting is very relaxing. It's just uh, me and what I'm focused on. So yeah, I mean, if, you know, it's a hobby. At the same time, it's a uh, mental release. You know, I'll be cranky at home. My girlfriend will be like, look, go out and paint. And then I'll come back and I'll be happy. And she's like, all right, see? So. The baddest rapper that ever could be. Now I'm feeling the highs and you're feeling the lows. The beat starts getting into your toe. You start popping your fingers and stop on your feet. Also ein Tag ist ja im Grunde wie, der, wie deine eigene Unterschrift, die du machst. Das heißt, die entwickelt sich ja auch irgendwann mal irgendwie ein bisschen weiter. So. Du versuchst dann irgendwie, ich sag mal, so, so schwungvoll wie möglich deine Buchstaben zu machen. Bevor ich angefangen habe zu sprühen, habe ich schon gezeichnet. Also das heißt, mit dem Alter von sieben Jahren habe ich schon angefangen zu zeichnen. Und für mich war eigentlich schon immer klar, dass ich äh, irgendwas Künstlerisches oder Illustratives machen werde. Like a hot